So I got a couple questions about using NVMR in the comments of one of my videos. And so this is just a quick overview of some of the points I wanted to highlight on using NVMR. These are a, a checklist of items I wanted to cover. The first thing is opening NVMR. So to do that is backslash RF. This will give you a console. But it also opens up uh, the key bindings you need to run other things. So here I just ran backslash PD for executing a paragraph. There's also backslash D, backslash SA, backslash SD. All of these are commands that you can use to execute lines or blocks or selections of code. Backslash RO opens up the object explorer. So here I have an object called temperature. This is a data frame. You can switch back and forth between your objects and libraries by just clicking enter. You can also toggle your data frames uh, or data frame objects. And you can also send columns uh, to the console and see the output in your console. And you can keep the object explorer open. so. You can see objects populating as you execute them. So, looking at the notes, uh, we talked about RF to start NVMR. We talked about using execution modes such as backslash D, SD, SA, PD. Backslash RO opens up the object explorer. Backslash RH will open up a help. So if you want to go to a specific function and read the help file, so for example here, ggplot, you can run backslash rf and open up the help. Sorry, backslash r8. So you'd see a new window pop up and you can scroll down and kind of read the help page. I'm just going to run this on another function. I'm going to do backslash rh on read table. And again, this will open up another window. And you can go to a specific input, maybe the numerals argument. Here I'm just hitting pound to uh, read details on the numerals argument. So I'm going to look at the bottom here. Uh, at the bottom, there's uh, th the main point of this script is to generate a plot. And so there's a plot function where I can run the whole script at backslash AA. And at the end, a plot's generated. This does op open up in a second window, so don't expect a, a terminal plot. All right, so here we talked about backslash RH, backslash AA to execute the whole script. Um, backslash RQ will actually quit NVMR. So um, control X, O will open up a dropdown to let you select a function for auto completion. So here I'm typing RN and then control X, control, sorry, control X, O, and that will open up a dropdown so I can search through the functions. So that's a control X, O auto complete functionality. RStop is something that I do use uh, when I find out that my code is running a little bit too long. So this little line here, 64, runs a sample that's going to take a long time to run. So I'm going to do colon r stop to stop r so it doesn't just keep running. Um, so that's really helpful. Our format is nice. You highlight the, the section of code you want to format and you can run back, um, colon r format to clean it up for you. You'll have to install, I think it's a format r library. If you don't have it installed It'll just show up as a warning in your console, and then um, just install the library it asks you to install. All right, now on to the help commands. So this is useful for, for any Vim plugin that you use. So help nvimr will open up the nvimr help page. This is um, something you'd get with most large um, packages, there's there's usually some kind of help file. 
So there's a table of contents here. Uh, those red highlighted titles, you can do help NVIM R use, help NVIM R key bindings. All of those are things that you can search for with the help command within this larger document. I'm just kind of scrolling through the help page. So what I cover here is really just scratching the surface. You'll find by reading the help page, especially I think the NVIM R use section is, is where all the power is. So you'll see we covered backslash RF. Uh, there's a number of others. And also there's configurations that the help page will tell you that you can set. Some people don't like doing uh, you'll see NVIM R when you do shift underscore, you'll get the assign operator. I've become accustomed to that, so that's not a big issue for me. Some people like to remap that. And so in the help page, they talk, they talk about how to, how to remap that. That covers, I think, the, the main topics in NVIM R, and I hope that gets you going. Thanks for watching.